Break a wine, break a wine. This is the bandit, this is the snowman out there. Mercy sinks, mercy sinks. You put about eight and a half on me. Blowing the windows down. Bring it on. Is that, by the way, where in North Dakota is that at? God, I can't remember what town, but it, it's straight, straight up. Now, if you take the, uh, you're taking the 212, instead of the 90, and you get 81 or something like that, uh, it takes you right straight up to the, where they're at. Now, they got, uh, they got room for owner operators and stuff like that over there, truck drivers? Yeah, they do. They uh, provide housing. What would be the name of the company you were talking about? Uh, I can't remember, but uh, I know on the, one of the owners lives in uh, South Dakota. I got it. Williston. Williston, North Dakota, right? Yeah, that's it. Somebody tell when I'm trying to pass somebody and, and uh, I almost get past 
across them and they speed up and they uh, pass me back up in that, in that slow lane. Come on. Thanksgiving to you, my friend. <laughs> Me and Miss Blue are out here. Where are you at? <laughs> for 20 years I've been driving. I've been searching for those big radios. Never could find one. I went to Kmart one time. They laughed at me. Westbound, what's the weather like behind you over there in Des Moines, Iowa? It just rained in there when I left a couple hours ago. That's a good deal. Uh, I wish I could say the same, driver, but it's going to be a little bit challenging and a little tough going west. Came out of Cheyenne, Wyoming this morning, and it just it, it snowed until all the way to the state line of Nebraska, and then it dried up, but it was the crosswind was something else. Um, some parts of Nebraska were really bad. Ten more, appreciate you, Bill. Happy Thanksgiving, driver. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Tornado hit it. It's just filthy. It's nasty. 
it's like, why aren't you guys in there cleaning that and wiping that down and wiping the counters and bleaching things down? They ain't doing that. Well, there ought to be a girl there to hold it for me while I go. Well, that would be a bonus for all of us drivers out here. And honestly, I can make more money truck driving than I can staying at home working EMS or fire. I work 48 hour shifts where I lived at. So I do 48 on, then I do sometimes, we done splits, so it'd be 48 on, 24 off, 24 on, 48 off, 48 on. So it kind of jumped back and forth. So sometimes I'd work three days in a week, but it'd be 48 hours all at once and 24 off and 24 on. And sometimes I'd only work 48 hours in a week. But every two weeks, I was only bringing home $1,200 after taxes and everything. I can come out here truck drive and make twelve to $1,800 in a week. You spend a lot of time on the road making that kind of money. Well, I don't have it too bad. I'm home every weekend still, so I still do. Right well, close to three to 3,500 miles a week, so my truck's not governed or anything like that, so I can still roll down the road pretty good. So, and I usually leave out on Sunday and get home Friday. Then I'll have Friday afternoon, Saturday off, and leave back out Sunday afternoon. Be down there about an hour from where I live. Where are you from, driver? Van Buren, Arkansas. I'm pretty close to my home. I'm not going to start worrying until I start seeing freight slow down. As long as freight's running the way it is, we're okay. Don't never get warm in Indianapolis. I'm here, I'm outside in Indianapolis, but it don't never get warm up here. I'm from down there in North Carolina where it stays beautiful. 